first step to assembling your Pyramid 3D printer is to attach the pair of Z-axis guides. Now, before you attach these, you want to make sure that these two holes at the base of the guide are facing you, okay? You want them facing the back of the host. If they're facing this way, the front of the host, then you have it the wrong way, okay? You want to make sure it's going to be facing like this. So you cannot see the holes because they are on this side, okay? This is correct. So to be able to attach these, you're going to want to flip your host so you can see these two pairs of holes right down here. And you're going to want to line up, line up your guides with these two holes, okay? So the guides have two holes of their own at the bottom. And you're going to want to line up these two holes, okay? Just like this. You want to make sure it's nice and lined up, all right? Now, you can't have your guide looking like this or like this. You need to have it flat. You need to have it level, okay? So to be able to attach these, you're going to need two M5 screws, okay? So let me set this down and get two M5 screws out. And we're going to need four because we'll need two for the other guide, okay? So here's two and four, all right? two for each bracket. And so we flip it up, and we're going to want to put the guide so it is level with the base. Just like this. We want to see the holes right through there. Alright? And then we want to grab a screw, put it through, and then you can see where the screw is on the other side so you can line up the two holes. All right? And so do it by hand at first. Make sure you screw in by hand so you get in there a little tight. It's a little tight by hand. Alright. And get that in there. Alright. And then you can grab the other screw. Make sure it's flat. You want to make sure it's level and flat the entire time. Okay? And you grab the other screw and line it up with the hole. Screw it in by hand until it's nice and snug and tight in there. Okay? You can just screw it in by hand, both of them, until they're nice and tight in there. And if you make sure your guide is flat, okay, then you can grab and then tighten them like this. And make sure it's nice. And tight. And make sure it's tight on there. And check again to make sure your bracket is flat because if it's flat, it's not going to work, alright? We're going to make sure that the guide is nice and flat, okay? So, to complete the first step, you're going to want to attach the two Z axis guides. After you've attached the first one, make sure to attach the second one. And to do that, you just follow the same steps that you did to attach the first one. All right? So just make sure when you attach the second one that the guide is level with the base and you just attach the two screws. You line up the holes and you attach the two screws. And make sure that these two holes at the bottom are facing you. Okay? After that, we can move on to the next step, which is atta attaching the Z-axis motors to those two holes I was talking about. All right? So this is the Z-axis motor and you're going to one to place it right here so it's level with the guide and it's lining up with those two holes as mentioned before. This is why you want them to be facing you. All right? And to attach these motors, you're going to want two motor screws. All right? So grab yourself two motor screws for each motor. So two screws for one motor. All right? And so you can place the screw in this hole, these two holes on the back of the motor, right here, all right? And you're going to want to line up this screw with the two holes right here on the Z-axis guide, all right? So place these screws and these holes, all right, like this. You have the two screws here, and then you can place the motor here with the guide.
guide. All right. And then you're going to take this and make sure, as said before with the guides, that the motor is also level, okay? After you've finished attaching the first Z-axis motor, you'll want to attach the second Z-axis motor. And to do this, you're going to follow the same steps that you did with the first one, all right? So you're going to make sure that it's level, the Z-axis guide, and it's lined up the two holes and you'll tighten the screws in the holes, all right? So you have the first Z-axis motor, and you do the same thing with the second one, all right? After you have both of your Z-axis motors, it's time to assemble your X-axis guide, all right? So we have the X-axis guide here, and we're going to want to attach the XZ connection bracket with the motor to the side with the three holes, all right? And you're going to want to make sure that you use the correct side, okay? This side has the big hole in it. This one does not, all right? And you will not be able to fit the motor onto this side. So here, you're going to want to line up this big hole here with this knot on this XZ connection bracket, all right? So make sure this not right here, it's going to be lined up right there with the hole, and it should fit just perfectly, okay? Once you have that lined up, you're going to want to make sure the holes, you see the other two holes, the small ones, are lined up with the holes on the motor, all right? This is so you can fit the M4 screws into these holes, all right? And you're going to want to get them in there. And it's a little difficult because it's a little cramped. All right? You want to have them poking out just like that at the bottom. You just want to have them poking out just like that there at the bottom. And then, so line them up with those two holes right there. All right? And then make sure everything's nice and lined up. And then you can take this and just go right through the top hole down to the screw. Right to the top hole, down to the screw. So you're wanting, going to want to finish tightening both screws and make sure each one is nice and tight in there. All right. And once they're nice and tight, you can flip it so you can see this knob running along this side. The next thing we'll need is the belt. Okay. And we're going to want to run the belt along this ridge right here on the x-axis guide, okay? And we want to make sure that the grip on the belt is facing this ridge, okay? You do not want the grip facing up, you want it facing down, all right? So run it along the ridge, and along this knob right over here. Run down and give yourself a little bit of space. And have it just like that, so it's smooth right across. Now if you have the belt in this ridge and along the knob, you're going to want to grab the action. We're going to be putting the action along the x-axis guide, okay? Before you do that, you want to make sure that the cords are facing up, all right? You want them facing up. The x-axis guide is going to be running along, right along these wheels, okay? This ridge right here, the wheels are going to go right inside that ridge, all right? And they're going to run right along it smoothly, okay? So you take the x-axis guide along with the action, and you have the action run just right, right on there. Smooth, just like that, okay? You don't want it smooth, just like that, all right? Nice and smooth. And make sure that the belt is still nice and smooth along that ridge, okay? And see if the action runs smoothly, right across. This is what you want, all right? Once you have that, you're going to want to grab the belt wheel, all right? So you're going to have the belt wheel running across this right here. You're going to have the belt running right across the wheel, all right? And you're going to line it up with these holes right here, all right? And you're going to place it right there. You have the belt right there along the wheel as well. And you're going to grab two of the M4 screws, all right? And you're going to want to make sure there's three holes here, three holes on the guide. 
but the holes that you're going to want to go from left to right, left to right here, you want to go with the hole number two and hole number three. Don't put it any screw in the first hole, all right? So make sure you put it in the second hole right there, and you can tighten that one a little bit, and then you know keep it nice and tight on there. You line it up and put it this screw in the third hole, okay? You can tighten that one right there. Keep it nice and tight with your fingers. Get it nice and tight in there. Make sure it's flat against the guide. You tighten those and then you can take this and tighten the screws. But you don't want them too tight. Here's why. You don't want to tighten them all the way at first because we still have to adjust this belt later on. All right? So don't tighten these screws all the way. All right? So after that, after we've put all this on the wheel, you have the belt running across the wheel here, right along here. You have the belt running across the wheel like this. All right? We're going to want to put take the belt. We're going to want to Flip it right here. Take the belt and pull it along over here and clip it right into here. Okay? Then we're going to take the other side and clip it right over here. Just like that. 